So I recently purchased an iPhone 8. I was uh, previously the owner of an iPhone 6. So uh, definitely a long time since I got a new phone and that means I needed new cases. Of course the iPhone 7 and iPhone 8 can use the same case but the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 8 cannot. Or the iPhone 6 and iPhone 7 cannot. Uh, I picked up uh, one from Spigen, one from Apple, and this one from Trianium. Trianium. I never heard of this brand before, but these were on sale, and I had been wanting to try a slim, clear case. Uh, and this is uh, this is just gonna be a quick unboxing. Then I'm gonna test it out, and then I'll follow up with the rest of the video. So let's see how I open it. How I open it. Uh, okay, I guess you cannot rip it open. Not entirely sure why you would make this resealable. I'm not sure what the utility is of resealing this package, but I will cut it above the seal just in case. Nothing else in there, just this plastic packaging it doesn't say anything on it oh man the email address is just a some random gmail address that's pretty solid but these things were moving a lot of units on amazon i bought it on sale uh cost me nine dollars and 89 cents and i think it was uh on sale i mean allegedly it was a 30 dollar case but that sale is still going on so maybe not uh, anyway i picked this one up because it is a a TPU bumper case. So basically it's a softer plastic. Uh, if you know TPU, it's not super soft, but it's softer than a really hard plastic. And uh, this is just a piece of cellophane. And again, I wanted to try a clear case. This one's really nice and clear. And being TPU, it's definitely a plastic, like a thermoplastic, but it has a little bit of flex to it and it's, it has a sort of rubbery feel so there is some grip uh, and a lot of the rubberiness is on the side here and it's less rubbery here definitely not a glass but you could tell it's like a hard plastic and as for the clarity uh, it is really quite clear that's pretty good so you did a nice job there you can see it's picking up a little bit of fingerprints and my hands are pretty clean. So uh, it's definitely picking up some fingerprints, but you wouldn't really see these if it wasn't at this off angle. So worth keeping in mind. Case itself is quite thin, but not quite as thin as this one from Spigen or like a peel, P-E-E-L, P-E-E-L. Those are the really, really skinny ones, but they don't offer much protection. Uh, quick notes is the uh, larger aperture for the uh, iPhone 8 camera. And then for this one, the, the buttons are actually built in. So this will overlay the buttons on both sides. Some of the other ones use a cutout, so you're actually touching the button on your phone. These ones offer more protection, I guess, but it, it kind of ruins the button click. and You don't get a lot of good feedback, so it's kind of annoying. Uh, and this one, I will say, has wrapped here, whereas it has a uh, this piece extends to the top of the phone, so you protect the front of the phone, and it does that at the top and bottom. A thinner, low-profile case does not do that. It's cut out, so not the same degree of protection, but it's lower profile. So I'm going to kick the tires on this one and follow up with another video. Here are some pictures of the iPhone 8 in the case. If it's not clear, I generally use my iPhone for recording my video. Okay, so I've been using this cell phone case for a few days now, and I just wanted to give everyone some feedback. Uh, first of all, it has protected my phone. Haven't had any fundamental issues with it. Uh, no breaks, no scratches, nothing like that, so that's good. Uh, it has picked up some fingerprints. Keep my hands pretty clean, but you can see it just the TPU sort of just attracts some oil and some fingerprints. So your phone tends to look a little bit dirty. And if you do wipe it on your pants or your shirt, uh, it comes right off. So that's really not a huge deal, but worth noting. Uh, the bigger problem is it has a sort of oily feel to it. This is just a really 
slick plastic, so it kind of always feels a little, I don't know, slippery or oily to me, which I don't really love. Uh, next thing, I have found that the buttons are really hard to press. Because the button is surrounded in this plastic, I, I like sometimes I feel like I press the button and then my, uh, you know, my headphones will go crazy because I put my phone in my pocket and the uh, touchscreen was still active. So I do not like that these buttons are so hard to press. They should have been a thinner plastic or uh, just, uh, you know, not as uh, reinforced or maybe just no button covers at all. Uh, next, I noticed that there are these little feet on the corners here and you can probably just make that out. So each of the four corners has this little foot. So when you place it down, I guess the, uh, the main body of the case is elevated from the table or the whatever you put it on. And that probably keeps the case in good shape, but uh, these corners, they sort of catch when, they, when you're putting the phone in your pocket or sliding uh, you know, it into your hand or something like that. And I found them to be rather annoying. You know, the case, it needs to go smoothly into and out of pockets and bags and purses or what have you. Uh, so even these tiny, tiny little feet, I just like, it's annoying to have this little piece of, you know, this little like disruption into the body. Uh, next, uh, I found it to be a little squeaky. Sometimes if you're holding the phone and your hand's like this, and you're holding it for a long period of time, as you're talking or whatever, your finger will move across and you'll get a little bit of squeak. It's more pronounced if the phone is in the body. But like, I don't know, not that I talk on my phone a huge amount, but like if you do and your hand is squeaking, that's annoying. Uh, last thing I noticed is that the lightning port hole, this aperture right here, it's a little bit too small. So that when you put in a lightning port, uh, basically, you know, a headphone jack or something like that, uh, it tends to push up a little bit. So uh, because the hole is either a little too small or a little bit off center. So you could see it kind of get pushed in. Uh, and we'll do it backwards to see the size comparison. Obviously the hole is more than big enough, but the uh, width that this, uh, this end piece here gets a little bit deformed when it's in the phone. So it gets a little bit pushed out, say. And then all of a sudden when you put in your headphone jack, it tends to catch on this a little bit. So uh, that kind of seemed imprecise to me. But uh, yeah, so for a, uh, you know, what is this, a nine or $10 case, it does keep your cell phone protected and it is clear so that it looks cool, it lets you really appreciate you know, the jet black or rose gold or whatever color your phone is. But uh, overall, I'm not in love with this case, but uh, could just come down to personal preference. I prefer the Apple leather case that I reviewed in, in the past. Uh, if you're a big fan of TPU style cases, then this might be a pretty good one for you. Thanks for watching.